Hi guys, this is R1 from War Jeepney. Uh, today's project will be a guild ball goalpost uh, to be used in your guild ball games. So the things you need would be some plastic cards, styrofoam, uh, craft sand, popsicle sticks, your cutting utensils, um, and your adhesives. Some paint and brushes. I use acrylic here. You can use whatever you want. So we'll start by tracing a 50 millimeter base on the plastic card. Um, make sure to clean and trim out the edges just to make sure it's all neat and tidy. Score the plastic card with your knife so that the glue will adhere and the sand will adhere. Uh, just a little tip for you guys. Then cut on some styrene to serve as your basic pillar itself. So use your hot glue to glue the two pillar halves and let it dry. So if you look at our design, there is a capstone on top. So we'll replicate that with a styro. With a styro. Um, if you look at on top, I traced and cut the actual capstone design on top. So cut some popsicle sticks for the wood accents and use hot glue to, to connect it to the post like uh, in the video here. Then you hot glue the post to the actual base. Make sure it's, everything is uh, dry and clean and clean it, clean the strings and etc. Get some hot glue, uh, put, put some glue on the pillar evenly, uh, then pour fine sand. Use fine sand on the pillar and use coarse sand for the base so that there's a contrast. While it's drying, I made um, a target using the popsicle sticks and rough out, rough design, uh, makeshift target. Just to make it interesting. So get your paint and undercoat. I undercoated my pillar black and I decided to go with a sandstone type of pillar. So. I applied brown as your base, a dark brown base, and dry brush a uh, little bit of yellow, yellow and light brown to achieve the dry brush effect. For the wood, I used a uh, similar dark brown for the wood, a little bit lighter than the pillar, and highlighted with a little bit of orange and yellow to add a certain contrasting effect to the pillar and the wood. Next, we'll do the target. I chose the color blue because it's a stark contrast uh, against the pillars itself. So use some hot glue and stick it to your pillar to achieve the target sign. Now work on the base. Uh, ground color like brown would be okay. And there you have it. Uh, that's your good ball goalpost pillar. I hope you enjoyed our t simple tutorial and this is R1 from War Jeepney until next time.